On this episode, I try and restore some national pride. Andre Silver at the PMBT, and you're watching another episode of the PMBT Buyers Club. Today, I'm going to have a very different kind of episode. We're going to do a head to head because over the last month, I've been getting a lot of abuse. A lot of abuse from a lot of my Indian friends who've been texting me, who've been WhatsApping me Hey, bro, how's it going? How's the lion? How's this? What's happening to you guys in India? And for all of those who are probably wondering why I'm in a cricket jersey and why there's a cricket helmet here, is because my beloved Sri Lankan cricket team went to India to play an unplanned, that I must say, it's an unplanned one day international series. Because the West Indies pulled out, anyway, the Sri Lankans went out to India, it was unplanned. Not, not that I'm making any excuses. And we were whitewashed, we were killed, we, you know, we. We were, we were slaughtered, the Indians piled on the runs, our bowling attack wasn't there, and they destroyed us. We lost 5-0, it was a series whitewash, and to rub it in just a bit more, an Indian friend of mine, I'm not going to name who, decided to send me a sample of white tea from India, and here it is. This is the white teas that, that he sent me as a little mark to say, hey, sit this and remember that you lost 5-0 in India and were whitewashed. So I thought, to restore back some national pride, let's do a head-on-head, -head, our Ceylon silver tips versus these Indian white silver needle teas, and do a head-on-head -head tasting and restore back some national pride. So, on my right hand, in the, in the well, I'm going to call that the red corner. In the red corner, I've got our Salon Silver Tips that I featured back in episode four, when we did Water Quality is King. If you want to watch that episode, click the link below and have a look. I highly recommend that you guys watch that. So in this corner, I've got our Salon Silver Tips, and up here, I've got the white tea sample that was sent to me, um, and this is grown on Dumni Estate in Assam. So I'm gonna have a look at both the teas first, and if it's good, I'm actually gonna put the Dumni tea on, uh, on the website, but, Inside me, I'm not going to lie, I'm hoping that it's not, and I'm hoping that, you know, the Silver Tips brings back some sort of pride back to Sri Lanka after this 5 mil whitewash. So let's start off with our Silver Tips. Well, here's the leaf here. It's a long, it's a long bud. Now, when we make Silver Tips in any kind of, whether it's Silver Tips or Silver Needle, what you're looking to do is, this is what the pluckers will pick. They will pluck just this bud. Usually when we make tea, when we make good black teas or green teas, you're plucking two leaves in a bud. But this is just the bud that, that we're looking to pluck. And you can see there's small white hairs on these leaves. And these come from a specific tea bush. They're known as, in the trade, they're known as 2043. That is the name of the, of the clone of the, or, or the cultivar. And these produce a, uh, a bud like this that grows at the top of the bush, but the leaf itself is much darker and it, underneath it has a reddish sheen. So you can always spot a 2043 tea bush from any of the other bushes on the plantation because they're a lot, lot darker. And some of the plantations will actually use these bushes to write their names, uh, write, write the names of the plantations in the field. So in fact, I'll link up a picture of Brunswick Estate where they, where they do this very well. So here's our Ceylon Silver Tips. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna have a look at the infusion. It's nice and bright. There's a, a nice bright look to this infusion. I'm going to give it a quick sniff. You've got that wonderful character that I love about these silver tips. Now these silver tips are actually these these are actually from Brunswick Estate up in Muskelia. These are the ones that we supply to Harrods. This is I'm getting a wonderful melony fruity aroma coming out from that leaf. It's a little uh, a little hint of apricot as well. This is a wonderful tea. This is one of my favorite teas. This is something I like to sit. I like to sit with, uh, sit with it multiple times on something like a Sunday, maybe with a good book. You know, you can you can reinfuse this tea again and again, and uh, it it is a wonderful tea. I'm going to give it a quick taste first. I'm going to show you guys the cup. It's a white tea. You can see right through to the bottom of the cup. It's a little dark. Uh, there's there's a bit of body to this, and that and that's what I think uh, makes 
this Salon Silver Tips, such a wonderful and such an exquisite tea. There's a lot of flavour in it, it's not too thin like, like some, of, some of the white teas are. I'm going to give it a quick taste. Lovely, lovely tea. Again, same as before, it's been brewed in spring water. Nice fruity melony aroma and taste to it. It's just, it's, it's almost like silk on your palate. It's very silky, it's almost like having velvet coating your palate. It's full of flavor, although it's a white tea, although the body is thin, there's so much flavor coming out in this. I'm getting a taste of fruit, taste of melon, a bit of apricot coming through. And you can brew this tea up to three, four times. Each time you'll get a different subtle flavor coming through in the leaves. And I highly recommend that if you guys are already drinking silver tips or if you're trying our silver tips, re-brew the same tea. I brewed this one up for about four minutes, um, four minute brew. Each time just extend the brew a little longer to, to allow, allow the leaf to give you a bit more flavor. And each time you'll be surprised by how much flavor you've got in this very delicate but very exquisite tea. Now, moving on to the contender tea from India. This is from Dumni Estate, it's in Assam. And I'm gonna show the leaf. It is, that's a bit of the silver tip coming out there that's already been infused. Now, if I pan the leaf over, if I hold just one bud, it's a lot smaller than, than the Salon variety. A lot, lot smaller, much shorter bud. I wouldn't say it's as fat as the Salon silver tip. I'm going to give it a quick sniff. Wonderful even, even leaf. There's no black, and that's one thing you don't want to have in your silver tip. Sometimes you find little black stray bits in the leaf. That is not what you want to be looking for when you have a nice silver tip. Let me give it a quick sniff. Very different, very different from the Salon silver tip. Now, a lot of people don't understand the difference between India and Sri Lankan teas. They think it's the same thing. They think, they think because it's in the same area of the world, the teas are going to be the same, they're not, they're so, so different. Even within India, whether you grow a tea in Darjeeling, in Nilgiri, in Assam, teas will be different. And it's the same thing in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka and India are very different uh, when it comes to growing foods. And this is true of spices, this is true of tea as well. Very, very different. I'm getting a much more of a woody, a much more of a, of a ashy type smell. Almost, I'm trying to pinpoint the exact thing, but I'm, it, it's like ash, it's almost like I'm getting a kind of pine woody smell from this, uh, from this leaf. Let's have a look at the infusion itself. Well, again, it's a very bright infusion. Can't complain, I don't think it is as bright as, as the Salon, um, but still very bright. You can see the difference in the leaf size if I show you those two, those two uh, infusions there. The Salon is the one on my right hand. It's a lot. Uh, the bud is a little, little fatter and a little longer, as opposed to the Indian variety. And let me have a quick smell of this. Fresh aroma coming through, almost like like jasmine flowers. It's, it, you know, this reminds me of early spring day or waking up on a tea plantation. It's very fresh. It's got that jasmine type smell to it. It hasn't been infused with jasmine. You can get a jasmine silver tip. This isn't it. It's, this is a slight jasmine floral aroma coming through. It smells very nice actually. I'm looking forward to tasting this. Let's give, let's have a look at the cup itself. Now the cup is a lot lighter. It's a lot thinner in body. That could possibly be because the, if you look at the actual buds themselves, the buds aren't as fat as, as the Salon variety. But nice pale color, you can see right down into the bottom of the cup. Let's give this one a quick taste. It's a lot thicker, a lot woodier. It, it's very, it's very, very interesting. It's, you know, two white teas, two separate regions, two different countries, S big differences in both the teas. This one is more florally, this is more fruity, it's more florally. This one, to me, I'm getting an oaky taste coming out, an oaky, earthy taste coming through the tea. It's, although the, although the actual cup color is lighter, and I'll show you both the cups here, this, the, the Assam variety is on, 
is on is on is in my left hand, and this is the salon one. Although the cup is lighter and thinner, it just feels a lot thicker on the palate. You are getting a slight velvet taste coming through. I think you're getting more on the salon. This is a lot more woody, a lot more oakier. I'm going to give it another taste actually. Mm. A lot more thicker. This is interesting. I advise you guys to do this. Try teas from different regions. Try the same tea from, from two different regions, two different countries, and see how much tea has to offer. For me, I'm going to be honest, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm being totally honest and taking country pride out, whatever it is, I'm going to be honest. For me, the silver tip, it just has something more to it. There's a lot more, there's a lot more going in that tea. There's a lot, it feels, it feels a lot better when you have this thick velvety taste, you know, touch your palate. This, this doesn't have that. So for me, I'm going to stick with the silver tip. I'm going to stick with the Sri Lankan silver tip. So because the Sri Lankan cricket team wasn't able to do it in India, the Ceylon tea industry have been able to knock one on, on India today. That's not to take anything away from this white silver tip. And thank you very much for sending this to me. I will enjoy this while I watch England in Sri Lanka. They go down there, I think it's early, ooh, at the end of this month. So England go, head down to Sri Lanka. There's another five ODI, ODI series, and then we go into the World Cup. And I'm hoping Sri Lanka bring it. I'm hoping we bring the World Cup home. We won the T20 World Cup last year. And I was a very small child when we won the 96 World Cup, but I'm hoping Sri Lanka win it this year. Well, next year even. But uh, what have we got coming up in the episodes um, before the end of the year? Well, I want to do something about chai tea, and, and hopefully we'll have that up for you guys next week. And then after that, I'm not going to reveal too much, but we've got some pretty cool stuff coming. We've got some nice stuff in the, in the pipe uh, that we'll have for you guys before the end of the year. The most important thing that I'm looking forward to at the moment is not Christmas, it's not the new year, it's not Christmas turkey, it's actually getting my Ridgeback puppy, I'm getting another dog uh, to keep my boy Bruce entertained and he'll be here around about anywhere between the 6th and 10th of December so I'm really looking forward to that and when I have him I'll feature both the dogs and put a bit of a twist, a bit of a Mutbayan Royalith Reducer on the show so look forward to that. As ever guys, happy sipping. Drop your comments in the comments section below. Also check out a lot of the footage that we'll have up coming up on the YouTube channel um, that we shot up at the Old Course. We did a great, uh, we had a great two days up at the Old Course Hotel last week doing the Science of Tea with the Dundee Science Festival. I really enjoyed myself. I had a good time meeting, uh, meeting the people that came out. They asked some amazing questions. So we're gonna get that keynote up on, uh, up on YouTube. We'll also segment their questions and have that up as well. And then for any people in the trade that are watching, we'll show you how we, how we go in and how we 10x people's uh, afternoon tea. So check that out, guys. As ever, happy sipping. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. Thank you for watching.